Recreation. Oh, no, that's on there. No, that's on there halfway. No, he oh, meant we'll F. Move. You F. Yeah. The no. yeah, why wouldn't we move line. him up to A so okay. that way since yeah, he's we'll here? Him up to Switch A. A and F. Thank you. Yeah. Since, I, since I now know how far to put him at the beginning. Just put him to A and then everybody else moves down. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make, yeah, make so a right. motion to accept the uh, agenda as revised. Support. I love my job. You just hate the drive. Come on, yep. be real. Well, it only makes sense he's sitting yeah. there. Mm -hmm. so yeah, right. I could say the opposite, right? Yeah. I love the drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a motion by Clerk <laughs> Allen and a second by Trustee Marshall yards. to approve the agenda as revised. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, say nay. Motion gets approved <laughs> unanimously. All right, citizens' comments on agenda items. Nothing from the public at this time. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll move right on to new business. Clerk, new hire. So, Roz has been with us since September of 16, as you've probably read, and um, we're getting busier and busier. The more houses we build in the community, the busier that clerk's office is. Um, there's also a well, there's a definite chance of being a new clerk in there a year from November. And um, she's been learning all parts of the office. She's been a great asset, and i just proposing that we make her full time. Is this something to do with this, or is this for later? No, this is for now, but I, okay. I was digging around on my... What does this have to do with this? Well, it just shows. It just shows how. Okay, oh. well, just to explain this, this okay. shows the employees in each office, and this is goes way back to 2008, before the economy tanked, and that's a full line means a full time employee if it's colored in. So if you look, um, say for recreation in red at the top, it shows three full time and a half time, and then if you look at 2013, we cut back to one full time and a part time that's, I think, being paid out of different funds. So this is just, and then on the back at the bottom of, of the. That's 2013. Yes. That's not. I know. That I, this is an old, something old that I found, but current actual amounts and cost centers. Were um, are down here, and I added 18 in. So I added 18 in. Okay. So I was a little confused by the writing. So she's currently doing part time in one area, part time in another area. You want to make her full time? All the others. How can you be full time? I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, well, that was my confusion. Like, yes. Okay, so right now I'm paying her out of elections, I'm paying her out of cemetery and um, clerk okay. department. So three different cost centers are paying Roslyn to be uh, part-time, which is 32 hours a week. So she's part-time eligible. That's how she was hired last February 5th. So, so she'll still be doing the exact same thing, because mm -hmm. she'll be 40, 80, or 40 hours instead of Correct. Okay. Correct. And those three, those same department cost heads are going to split, or the cost centers are going to split the additional? Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Okay. So they're not taking away, board. she's not going full time to do this thing and taking away this no. thing? Okay. No. That's, that's what I was, right. I was interested in. No, she would still be doing the same work. work. She's she giving her more hours to do that work. Correct. Work. Correct. But nothing new is coming, so there's no new cost sum she's coming to. No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. And she's done a great job on everything. Um, at some point, we do know the election coordinator is going to retire for real. <laughs> 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 I 
Nine years ago she retired, yeah, but she's still but, here. But we don't know what point that's going to be. No, no. She is good. She Do said she's income? not walking out when I walk out. Um, she's going to stay a little longer, but she's not sure how long. Really? Wow. But she is training Rosalind to take over that position. So there may, that would free... I don't believe that she would be able to handle a full-time election coordinator and do all the cemetery and do clerk. And back in 2008, we had a full-time election person. Mm -hmm. yep. So the election person, if we just put keep, so there's an election person, the bookkeeper, clerk, obviously yourself, and then administrate. That's just her. assistant. Right? No, or that's no. Lisa, who is also Lisa. HR. Oh, that's Lisa. So the, so. Um, Rosalind's on um, as of 8 or 13? No. No, because she wasn't hired till 16. So this is a new position. And 16 are brought her in strictly to do the cemetery program. We had this $4,000 software program and nothing was put in correctly from a part-timer who was not sure what she was doing and she didn't stay with us very long. And how much hours does the election person? What do you have right now? You have full-time clerk, full-time bookkeeper, full-time administrator. And part-time election coordinator. Part-time election coordinator and then part-time eligible. Uh, split, as you call her, split part-time. Because gotcha. she's covering three different aspects of that department. And she's at 32, right? Yeah, she's at 32. So she's already, at 32 years, she's already eligible for all the benefits that mm -hmm. anyway. part-time so, eligible uh, right. so it's not anything okay so. what would add to her going to full-time is she would then um, get health care okay. did you take that into consideration when you uh, this, you're going to be adding if she accepts health care no that comes out of a totally different cost center it's not but it's not enough, in my is there enough in the cost center? oh that just it comes out of general general fund, fund. okay correct 944 is, is there enough in 944 well, there's enough in the general fund, so when oh, we go through the 101, right. we can make an adjustment, but I didn't put it, I didn't add it in. And here's the thing, too, I want you to kind of think in your head, is when an employee retires and they're 65, you're no longer paying like $2,500 a month for insurance. Now you're paying 25 for a whole year. So. Bringing in a new younger person, getting that insurance is costly, but at the same time you're retiring people and that cost goes away. I mean, truly, when I retire, you're going to save, what, $2,500 a month for 11 months. That's a lot of money. Just saying, it's not just additional, it's because we go into that United Healthcare and it's so much cheaper. It's one month to pay for a whole entire year of insurance. Then we'll have your replacement to pay for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. There's a replacement clerk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a yeah, they'll be paid. Lost they'll be paid yes, they will be paid for 20%. And right. she still will. Right. So yeah, I'm not paying. paying. If, she, right. if they take it, they'll be paying 20%. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's the only difference, really. Well, the difference is, so you are going to have more staff than you did in 08. That's what I was trying to figure out. You will yeah. be up because you'll have four full time and then one part time where you have just four full time. So you'll be up a part time. I do wish we had on here what the, um, how many houses we had in 08 compared to 2019. We've grown. We've definitely, this community has grown, but the workload is much grown. bigger. Next year, 2020, we have three elections. That is huge. I mean, and it's that way every four years, every other year, actually, every even year. Three There's elections. at least two elections, if not three. Good, yeah. and they are? Presidential primary in March. August is the primary, and August <coughs> is the big presidential in all of our local. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. It's already 2020. Yeah, August is the presidential primary, and then November is the, the real election. It's the general General, general general election. Election. August is your um, primary. primary for local government. <coughs> this whole entire board is up for, you're going to have to go out and campaign again oh. or do your thing. 
<laughs> Kiss babies and stuff. That means <laughs> it's our library that board. primary is not for anything to do with national or state. That's in March. March is the presidential, that's the only thing on it. So oh, all those 20 Democrats and 35 Republicans are all going to be on the ballot in March, yeah, and then yeah. it whittles it down to one per party for November. There's 35 Republicans? No. Who knows? I don't know. I can't keep track of the number. There's a lot of, a lot, they still a lot have of time. people that are laying in the leads. <laughs> they still have time. <laughs> yeah. So next there was a guy April, I heard the other day was running, I'm like, never heard of the guy. April is the deadline, and I don't have the exact date. I want to say the 18th. It's very close to your birthday. Um, that you have to claim, you know, that you want to be on the ballot for local for oh. August. And we'll have stuff in the newspaper. You have to declare. You have to. You said it was May, but. So my no. Next question. no, I know you know what it is. I just had in my head for some reason. It was my May. next question is: yes. We have two suggested motions. Yes. One is for. Roslyn to be full time. Yes. And I thought the the money coming out of the cemetery and the cemetery repair was part of. So why are there two? That's I guess that's my, my okay. question. So the first one is to make her a uh, split full time employee. Okay. With you see the monies. Right. The second motion is to I need to move some cemetery money from okay. equipment maintenance into wages. Okay, I thought that's what was spelled out in the, in the it, first It line. is, but there's not enough in that line, so I... And, the, okay. and this is in the 2020 budget? Mm -hmm. 2020 budget? Right? Yep. And um, we, since we haven't adopted the 2020 budget yet, I don't think we really need to make this motion. I think if we make this one, then we can. You can direct, uh, or when we do the cemetery budget, we'll have to adjust it. Adjust it. Then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so the motion two is for twenty twenty. Yeah, that it's one we just, just we haven't passed. Okay. I was just trying to make sure it was all on one piece of paper that I didn't miss something. Right, but twenty twenty is Right. But the suggestion motion one is for this year, right? Yes. Well, it's actually to begin January 1st, 2020. <clears throat> so it's not this year. It's but we're not making a motion to move money. <laughs> no, it's for just the, how it's to make a motion paid. to. to that's just showing how it's going to be paid. Just showing us how it's going to be paid. That's not a motion to move money. That's just showing us Correct. how it's going to be paid. Number two is the motion to move money. Right. Number one is just the motion to start. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. I make the motion to go with uh, suggested motion number one. But we don't. Know. <coughs> 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 yeah, that's presented. Yeah, presented. Support. motion by Trustee Marshall and it is seconded by Trustee Rumble to hire Roslyn Blair as a split full-time employee beginning January 1st, 2020. This position will be paid from wages part-time in the amount of $7,000, permanent split part-time in the amount of, okay, well the first one was out of the general fund budget. The $7,000 is out of the no. The first no. one's uh, out of clerk's elections. Office. Oh, okay. The first, first one's out of elections. The yeah. second one's out of the clerk's office in the general fund. And then permanent split time in the amount of $25,000 out of the cemetery fund. Yeah. Wages part time in the amount of. Oh, wait. Okay, so I really confused everyone. Um, to hire Roslyn Blair as a split full time employee beginning January 1st, 2020. This position will be paid from general fund elections wages part-time in the amount of $7,000, general fund clerk's office permanent split part-time in the amount of $25,000, and cemetery fund wages part-time in the amount of $7,031. This is confusing to me that these are accounts are considered for the permanent split part-time and the wages part-time because 
she's really full time, even though she's doing part time of those jobs. Yes. That's how they're named right now on the budget. That's okay. how they are named in our reports. So I took it with those until until January. Until I knew if it was going to get passed. Right. I just saying I don't know if I like those accounts for where her money's coming from because when you read the general ledger, them you're going to think that that person is getting paid from theirs part time when they're full time. We're going to change the yes, you're change the yes we're okay. going to change it so it won't say split part time. Okay. And, and we can change it okay. in our motion. Yeah. To. I'm just saying it, it makes it. And let's put that at the end and change okay. part time to. Part time names to. Full time. Full time. Change the names from stating part time to full time. Okay, I didn't make that motion, so really. Yeah, that I'll, motion has to be okay with I'll that. agree with the amendment. That's fine. So it's split part time to split full time. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. So the part time on will and be Jason, full you're, time. You're good with that too. Yep. So it's to do all that and change split time, split part time to split full time. In the different, yep. the three different costs. Three different well, let's see. There's the three time. part time, part time, part time. Yeah. So not all three are there. Are they called split? Just so we should just take out and split just part time to full time. Just the part time to full time. No split. We we'll have to take split out. Split stays. Well, split just stays in that one, but right. we're changing. Split comes out of the motion. Right, because you're just changing the part to full. Yep. And change part time to split to full, full time. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Does everybody understand the motion or do I need to read it again? You're good. No. We're good? Okay, if that's the case, we'll do a roll call, please. Marshall? Yes. Rumble? Yes. Allen? Yes. Darnell? Yes. De Palma? Yes. Cordella? Yes. Thurman? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. So our next item of business is the purchase of diamond dust for the park development project. So there were three estimates for Correct. diamond dust. Yes, this is just you bringing back the bedrock one in writing. Mm -hmm. So that's what we asked for. Yep. And it's the lowest. It's an email, yeah. yeah. I'll make the motion. Yeah. Support the motion. I have a motion by Trustee Rumble and it is seconded by Trustee Marshall to approve purchasing up to 300 ton of diamond dust at the price of $24.95 per ton from Bedrock Express LTD for Brandon Township Park development baseball fields. Any questions? Okay, roll call please. Rumble? Yes. Allen? Yes. Darnell? No. De Palma? Yes. Cordella? Yes. Marshall? Yes. Thurman? Yes. Motion carries six to one. Okay, so next we're going to do the 508 budget. We're into our workshop now. This amazes me. Almost $7,500 for dirt. No. It's the one, 508, it's the goldish yellow. We're not going to the border there. Yeah, because we moved this one up to the beginning. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, so we go back to the brown one. The first number over here is five. Ecru. Yeah. As long as Ecru. Ecru is Ecru. Is that the part? I called it brown. Okay. 
change really the only change is uh, rent office expenditures were in for revenues are there any big oh, changes? Revenues? No. no we went by what we did last year pretty much okay uh, but it looks like you're going to be making more oh never mind it's about the same i was looking at activity but we're not done with the year I, I expect a little increase in flag football with the new uh, uh, tackle bar system. We're getting a really lot of good uh, compliments on that. The kids are really learning the fundamentals of tackling. Uh, like I said, I, I go out there almost every game and talk to parents and they're really liking it. And I talk to the kids as well. And they're really enjoying the game. And the younger kids wearing the helmets, parents were very appreciative. So I, I expect a little increase there. Otherwise, uh, everything, we had some uh, programs like tennis wasn't really the best it's been, so we kind of looked at the low side there. But most of everything else, wrestling always seems to be struggling lately. We can't get the kids to sign up for that. And girls sports in general is down. So I'll do the best I can estimating what we think we'll be bringing in based on 2019 numbers. Okay, so your office expenses? Office expenses, the change there is we're, uh, we have nine interviews that we're just wrapping up and we're calling back a couple of them for a second interview. And that's the $8,000 for the part-time uh, help that will be paid out program money based on this is based on about 10 to 15 hours a week uh let's see what we got else we got here should we change your um from wages to wages part-time because yes. that that used to be your full-time person right yeah that used to be the part-time eligible Oh no! Oh. No, was it? No, was it? It was. It was Kara's. It was Kara's, but she was part time back. Yeah, she's, she's full good. time. No. Uh, the only other thing we got on there is uh, computer equipment, which is a uh, copier. We're going to get our, our copier does not work anymore. My copier on my computer is so old. It with the new updates that um, IT right or not IT. Yeah, if you write them in, it won't even work. So we're looking to update our printers. You had no vehicle maintenance this year, Fred? Uh, other than maybe an oil chase, there's no money spent there? Not even any money listed. Yeah, nothing spent. Well, it is in gas and oil up above it. Gas, diesel, and oil. No, but the vehicle that maintenance. You know, below that. You know, no, I think we did our oil change late last year, and okay. I mean, we don't even put ten thousand miles a year in that truck. Okay. truck. Yeah, Fred and I go back and forth on that truck. I think he needs a new truck, and he thinks he's just fine. I said, he's fine. <laughs> just because the the body of the truck is it's looking fine. pretty sad. It's pretty old. Yeah. So we got sixty-eight thousand miles. Right. right. Still got life on the engine. <laughs> but I think, I, think, twice. <laughs> I think your carry forward is going to probably build up where you're going to be able to afford it. Which so well, fun. let's talk about and that he, because he, I. Yeah, because he wants to, to come out of the one. Well, I thought the park subcommittee, or in, I know Candy, I think Candy, Candy was on it at that time, that because it's a township vehicle, that you 
you suggested ten thousand dollars a year out of 101 to go towards a new truck do you out do of, that for building out of 508 i don't know what's the building well they bought the they bought the, they bought the mower for the building truck no, they save money and they pay for their it's auto. Um, the it's mower fun. got bought out at 101 because we would have to maintain the parks even if there was no even recreation. If they were closed. Even if there was no recreation, we have to maintain the parks. We don't have to have a truck to do that. Right. Yeah, you do. No, you don't because you can pay someone mileage. On their how, how are you going to get equipment from one park to the other park? Because we do bring uh, things from out there back in. It, it don't matter. If, if, if there was no part. if there were no programs, yeah. you wouldn't have to go Straight to the different and fields and everything. Yeah. Right. I'm fine with the truck I guess. So. That's why I brought up that we go back and forth. We'll, we'll, we'll because, talk about it next year. <laughs> yeah, when we get to the carry forward, we'll see that you're starting to build in here. So I don't think uh -huh. we're really, we're not saving to a committed fund like we are the building part. Yeah. And we haven't paid anything for storage? Anything for what? Storage? storage no, no, I don't need, I got rid of our storage a long time ago. Well, because it's in the budget for 600 bucks. No, that's, that's a credit. Wait. Oh, no, it's 340. Yeah, 344. Sue, Sue charged charged me for storage last year and now she's put it back in. I'm looking at nine forty. Nine forty nine forty. Five oh eight. Is Oh, I'm sorry. 117, 940, sorry. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I was looking for What Sue does is there's a storage unit and, and she splits it between all the departments. Well, I have nothing to do with that gotcha. storage. So she gave me credit for that. I got gotcha. you. So you paid in 18 and she gave it back to you in 19? Right. Gotcha. That's because we got rid of the gingerbread house, right? Yeah. It's in the storage unit. Okay. Um, you know. So that's what the three four and four is? Yeah. What's that? As a credit. As a credit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned six hundred bucks. That was that's a, that's a light so cost. Oh. Okay. That he doesn't have any activity on. I see. So but we're so paying he settles him. up he settles up at the end of the year. No, we're paying him for his self. Yeah. You put in for yourself, it's not showing up on the report. Yeah, I was just going to turn the bill on the end of the year. Okay. So the so you told me I had that option, so I just chose to do that option. Uh, again, I, I think, Candy, I got to write you a letter for the smart money, but we anticipated that we was going to get that again. Can you do it before the end of the year, please? Sure. Okay. Up to you next week. Okay, perfect. And the smart money is used for September Fest and ski For the buses? For the bus. Other than that, I did, you know, we have a Christmas parade and I, I got $200 for that, but I was hoping someday the township might want to kick in if you want a really big parade or what you want, because last year you gave the village money for Christmas in the village but nothing for our Christmas parade. And it's hard to do anything on $200, which is program money. What do you, what would you use that money for, for the parade? The parade like bringing a band or something for the I parade? Gotcha. I gotcha. And why is office supplies less? I do think something needs to be done for the parade. It's very good. I don't know what you, I think you give $500 or something like that to the village. That would purchased a marching band for the parade. It's too bad we can't have a high school band purchase. We try every year. <laughs> They're on they, the, go they, go on. they go to competition. They have competition oh. the first Saturday of every December. Yeah, and I thought about and moving the parade, but I got moved by the DDA. So. Who's parade is it? Theirs or ours? Theirs. Well, they want to be in conjunction with downtown. The, it's our parade in Christmas. It's our parade. I think we can go to the end of it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Would you hire a marching band? Huh? But who would you hire a marching band? I don't know. I'd go to 
Goodrich. <laughs> Kachowski Goodrich. just won Saturday's competition <laughs> here. <laughs> all they came all the way down there. They're fabulous. They, they're the best. Huh. Who is? Petoskey. Oh. They came down and beat everybody up. Holly came in second, though. Depending on I just, what you know, level you are. I mean, there's different levels, so I don't know what his... I don't know which schools competed against Petoskey and Holly. There's different levels based on their school size. Just like with yeah. football and all that. Back to the Christmas parade. Uh, I, I, like, there's no budget to market it either. I got a little bit of money in my promotion stuff. And so Can't you change that in your budget and say I want X amount of dollars? But my budget's all program money. It would have to be so, the 101. Okay. Because I, I have like. No money to market, no money for any other kind of entertainment in the... So whoever shows up, that's your parade, basically. We put a newspaper ad, it costs something like 75 bucks, and the rest of the money goes to the float decorations. Do we do anything contributing to the memorial parade, too? No. No? No. No, that's no. really not a parade. We, I think we don't participate. It's just no. the fireworks and the Christmas in the village that I think the township does. That I can think of. There's something to think about. We'll get by. We'll, we'll have another parade. Uh, that's a, any, if you've got any questions, basically, our special events is about the same. My daddy daughter dance was sold out last year, so I anticipated it would sell out again. So I take uh, $5,000 of our program money, and that's my publication. That's what we do all of our advertising, basically, in the Citizen newspaper. This year, we're going to try to put out a brochure. Let's see what happens with that. We don't have any money in travel soccer. You might have noticed that. Even though know, the travel soccer uses the park, we used to get a rental fee. What's changed with that is that they provide all the certified referees to do our recreational soccer in exchange for using the fields for their games. So you don't have to pay it's a pretty good. It's a good deal for us. Yeah. This certified referees can cost you some money. What is the charge nowadays? I'm just curious. For a certified referee, it could be thirty, thirty dollars a game. Just thirty. Yeah. Another yeah. We were thirty-two dollars uh, a couple years ago for some, you know, associations, I guess. But baseball, we anticipate a, a pretty good uh, registration, but the registration fee is going to increase by five bucks because we are using certified umpires that cost $50 a game. Do you think you'll see a decrease in the older boys with having middle school baseball now for 7th and 8th graders? That's, that's our Bay group, okay. age group. We always get at least one team. And we, they, play okay. down, they play down in uh, Independence Township. And we've always used uh, JV mid, or the middle school field, which is a lot of times underwater, What's good news about our Bay Brook level, we're going to be using our own field of the Township Park. I just want to make sure you took into account if any of that could help, but yeah, if it's just yeah, someone we, leaves, then it's okay. One time we had two Bay Brook teams and we had a uh, older 15 to 18 year old team. That's a tough age group. Yeah. And the, the middle school baseball is over and ours start. Okay, so you can still do it well. And I did, last year, I don't think the kids, uh, we're going to have to give a little bit better awareness to get to the junior high coach and, and give them some flyers and say, hey, you know, try to get these kids, if they want to continue playing, sign right. up for rec ball. High school rules says that you can't play the same sport the same together. Time. You know, 
can't do both. Okay. But they're split in a different season, they can't. I didn't even know we had an art in the park. Mm -hmm. Art in the park? Yeah. That was part of movie night? It's all part of movie night. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the, uh, do the vendors pay for uh, space? Mm -hmm. Program issue, just one. Wrestling's going to bring in 900, but you're going to spend 965. How much? 965. Can you balance that one out? Oops, missed that. Wrestling. That's okay. That, that's my only. Yeah, we try to balance them all. Yeah, most of them. So we'll have to make. You know, if you want to prove it with that correction, I'll just change it. Are there any programs in 19 that you've lost money in? What was that? Are there any programs in 19 that you've lost money on that we should do that comparison? I can't even do Kind of like the spreadsheet I used to ask for. The wrestling and tennis is always, tennis. always close. Tennis is kind of like a hit and miss because some years it's yeah. good. The youth, the youth volleyball yeah, is another one that we used to get 25 kids and we had 9 or 10 last year. And it's not because of the equipment or the instruction, it's just that I don't, it's just not signing up. And I don't know of any travel volleyball that's going on, other than over in Clarkston. Well, the high school has all this stuff too, right? Yeah, but not at, our youth volleyball is uh, the 9, 10, and 11 year olds. <coughs> and they, there's, there's travel for that level. But I mean, like wrestling, there's high school wrestling, is yeah. there? Is there middle school? Our, our yeah. site director is the high school coach. Okay. Eric Donners. He runs the program. Yeah, it's just hard. You don't know what the kids are going to be interested in, and we're a small town, and the kids can only all do so much. And so you yeah, another, another thing that's going to happen this year, and I've already called the athletic director called them out on it and the varsity basketball coach is that they have junior NBA youth basketball and we have Jets youth basketball for the boys and now last year Mark who's the varsity coach was all gun ho working with the Parks and Rec direct or, uh, department and he opened the gym for the kids and everything on Saturday well this year the JV coach works for junior NBA He's a new guy that came in. So they're going to run this youth program on Sunday. Our program's on Saturday. Our kids going to play both, one or the other? I don't know. Time will tell. We're starting to get kids signed up for the uh, boys' jet program. So we'll see. And I talked to the AD, and we're getting the middle school eight Saturdays to be able to host home games. And we're getting the school for free. But the catch is the girls' varsity team is going to run the boys jet program at the school as a fundraiser. There's going to be three days that they can't do it and I'm going to get together some volunteers and we're going to run it ourselves. Did the jet league or approve, the boys team approve? Did the jet league approve for you to have home games yet? We're working on that right now. Okay. We just put the phone call in last week. We just got the approval from Chris, the AD. Okay. And, uh, because I know you tried to do that last year and it didn't work out. Yeah, because they wanted eight couldn't. days. So that's why I didn't know if yeah. I didn't know if the Jet League has agreed to doing home games here. But last year, if you remember, it was late notice from their end of things, and right. they wanted eight eights, and they, the school couldn't do it. Right. Okay. We started planning this a long time ago. I put a couple phone calls into Chris. Oops. Yeah, because that might go down um, 
What grade does Jeff go to? Jeff's is fourth, fifth, and sixth. Sixth. Great. Okay, so you already had lost the big grade last year. The eighth graders this year, there was two. Because you know how there was two sixths and then one fifth and then two right. of Ryan's for fourth, but you had already lost the sixth last year. Yeah. So you got Ryan's big grade again this year. I was thinking you were losing that one this year and you'd lose participation, but that was last year. Hey, Fred, we have a couple questions over here. First one's on your portage ons and soccer. Are you anticipating less portage ons next year? Fewer portage ons? Well, Kurt was using the same amount. Some of that portage ons gets paid by the top, the one on one budget. Look at, okay, look at 508. Oh, for soccer? Yeah. For the rec soccer level? Yeah. Six, You've got 380 listed down as your budget, but the activity is already 1190. Is it being folded wrong? I don't know. That's <laughs> what I'm asking. And then with the maintenance and repair, you've got fifteen hundred dollars down as your budget, but you've already spent forty three fifty two. Oh, this. Am I looking at this right? So it's yeah. five oh eight six twenty four. Yeah, what did you have to maintain and repair on the soccer field? Same thing with custodial fees. There's nothing budgeted but spent. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. And the same thing with refunds. Well, refunds is when you give money back. From the right, but he's got 475 budgeted and 1370 already gone. Because he was hoping that. To right, I was going to say you can't <laughs> help if you have to refund, so you can't control when someone wants a refund. So that you don't means get enough for a whole team. You have to. That's what happened. Right, right. Refunded right. the whole thing. Right. So I was going to say you can't control the refunds really. Are that the soccer control. wages for the refs? Well, there should be no soccer. Soccer, there are. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're already overspent. Because the refs are supposed to be, because the refs are free. Oh. No, soccer, uh, soccer, uh, some of it's ref and some of it's the site director. Plus, though, if you didn't do, if you had refs in the mm -hmm. spring that were paid, so soccer is slightly great. Right now, were the refs paid in the spring and not now? Because you said right. now, right. Mm -hmm. so part of that wages is refs. Yeah, you got two spring. seasons here. It's two seasons of soccer. So we have to pay them in the same year. Yep. We have to. Yep. All right. No, what I'm saying yeah. is, no, she, is she, she I'm just saying, just why is it over? over I'm saying there's activity. To See what I'm saying? That's what I was asking. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying there's activity there because even if he's not paying the rest now in the fall, he paid them in the spring, and that's all this year. Mm -hmm. But that should still <coughs> that's the way it should always be. Right? When do the travel teams um, use the fields? Spring and fall, or just spring, fall, and summer. Spring, fall, and summer. And spring, do they summer, supply fall. refs for both the fall program and the spring program? They don't provide refs for all of our programs. It's the older kids. Okay, so what are so all the wages? We shouldn't have any wages then for refs. It should all be just site directors. But it doesn't say what kind of wages it is. No, some of that, some of that wages there is for our maintenance men. Not all your, uh, not all your, you know, 101 for your park maintenance. That's park maintenance stuff. That's like your mowing and stuff. But we have paint and paint machines. We have to, we have, uh, that's not equipment. So that's maintenance. So that goes to the maintenance line? Yes, we have grass seed, stuff, stuff like that. But the wages is for like Rob, Carter, and John, Werner. Uh, Warner out there. That I don't know. So, I, so you're anticipating not paying as much in wages to oh, so those two for next year? Not yeah, it's down two hundred seventeen dollars. Yeah. Okay. And then what about oh Porter John? Yeah, what about the Porter Johns? Porter Johns. <coughs> so we spent the activity is one thousand one hundred ninety. Mm -hmm. And you have $380. So did some get coded to oh, tracker that should have been coded to say September Fest because theirs is down 400 
or to other places that had quarter jobs? Like that's what that if that says one thousand one hundred and ninety dollars, that's what we paid on that quarter john that says out there at U twelve. So you figure it out if you got a hundred and for ninety dollars for well, what I'm saying well, is, eight so you months, should put your budget like that. so that it's up higher than. Well, why yeah. was 2018's only $380, though? So. Did you not? But we never had one over at the U12 field. We, everything was out by the road. And then the requests come in to put one out there because they had to walk so far. So we added Porter Johns over the years. Township takes care of the, the handicap one, and we take care of the real site or for it should change that's all I'm saying if you're saying that you're going to spend 380 and you're spending over a thousand yeah we had we added a quarter John out there yeah he did raise it up for next year though. why is there so much in maintenance there though that's, that's very the, asking you said that's for like painting the lines? No, that's uh, sod repair. Uh, some of the. Uh, so those are unexpected repairs? Yeah, let's see. Let me see what you got. Uh, the trimming of the bushes, the just anything that's on that soccer field. Because the budget in the 101 for maintenance is at a, at a certain level. And uh, two, so I don't uh, eliminate all that funds. We have the option of paying maintenance on a soc uh, program money for those guys working out there. Well, yeah, but what I think we're asking, Fred, is, is in eight, 19, you budgeted 1500 for maintenance. Then you go and spend 4352 So what have you been spending on? And did you realize you're going to the budget? Was that for your aeration? Or some, you did something in the spring to the fields, right? Yeah, I got an irrigation or irrigation budget. No, not irrigation. We put up irrigation where they were. Oh yeah, the irrigation. <laughs> so what did you? That spend? doesn't come that That's how your one one five away. So you spent almost three thousand extra on maintenance. So were you watching what you were doing, and should you have done that? Was it necessity? I guess is what we're trying to ask. Because if you need the 4,300, then the 1,500 is under, and in soccer. We put a fence up this year and fence post. That's to keep what you spent the money on? Yeah. Fencing? On the U-12 field, right at that tree line, it's a big wet area, and the ball was going in there. The kids had to walk in the water to get it. So we put uh, 30 fence posts and 300 feet of fence. And that was and that's why that, that's that's why that cost is higher. What's that? And that wasn't out of the um, community park 101 stuff? No. That was out of soccer money. Because it's not true maintenance, so it wouldn't be needed if you didn't have the soccer. That's, that's why that's higher. And then um, soccer, some of the soccer No, I'm saying goals. it's not true maintenance for 101 to do. Yeah. It's 508 maintenance because it's for the program. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I, I have a question for you, Fred. Maybe you've taken this to a call already. With the uh, with new park, being out there, I'm guessing it's going to be an increase in wages to take care of it, an increase in maintenance to take care of it. Has that been figured in? Not, not in the five, not in this part of it. That would, that wouldn't be part of the recreation. Yeah. It's the 101. This the okay. park operation budget. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Which we'll get to right after this. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to really literally pull all the bills out, but I know a big chunk of that is uh, that fence that we put up, and then the labor putting it out. Okay. We were just wondering why it jumped up. Any other questions on the 508? The fence is still up, so if you want to see it. Okay, thank you. Let's quickly go the one, the one, which is the green. one thing I want to add on that maybe as well. We, side. we had a big tree fall down as well. On well, we're not voting. We're we're just 
going through this, and then it'll come to our next meeting in November. <coughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Are you looking at getting the tree fixed right away? We already took care of it. That was part oh. of your maintenance. Also oh, okay. part of the maintenance. Plan. Sorry, all I heard was the tree fell down. Yeah, the tree fell. <laughs> One of the dead trees that's in that tree line. Um, so just so Fred can go home, if we look at the 101-508 expenditures, that's to pay for his wages and CARES wages. Uh, which budget is that? Is that that's the green one. Okay, green. Green. Down to the green. Okay. So if you look 101, at 101 508, 508. <coughs> that's where the general fund is paying for Fred's wages and Kara's wages. I thought he was going over park operations. Well, that's it. And then park operations is right under at 101 732. Gotcha. And so you have an increase <coughs> in park operations, and is that to pay for mowing the ball fields? Because your contracted services went up from five thousand to eight thousand dollars. Because of the baseball fields. To mow the baseball fields, but. They're not contracted employees, so or oh, that's for your um, fertilizer and stuff. I gotta find your contracted part-time wages went from twelve thousand to fifteen. That's for the mowing, right? Well, it actually, activity for nineteen is already fourteen to fifteen out of two thousand six hundred eighty over. All these increases that you see here have to do with the, the eight acres that we're going to have to take care of next year. Right, but Dana brought up a good point. <coughs> Your activity for 19 for wages part time is already at 14680 and right. you've only budgeted 15 for next year. Yeah, Rob, we got, I think a Rob or a John would be done next week for the year. Rob Carter's already been done for a couple weeks. So the question is, won't it be even more than 15 if you, you're going to be mowing the ball fields? Um, I was hoping not. I think, you know what, John is, he loves that part and he takes great care of it. And I think he mowed a little bit one too many times. I got to watch that a little closer next year. It seemed like he was getting mowed four times a month. And, uh, which made it look actually absolutely groomed, but I was going to cut back on that mowing for one thing. And the portage johns went up because why? Because you said only. Oh, the because we're adding. Cap. We have to add portage johns over the baseball field. Right, but that doesn't come out of the baseball budget. It comes out of this one because I thought you said we only pay for that one handicap out of the 101 budget right don't you want to put a handicap one over there oh. <laughs> probably a good idea thanks I don't think you need the extra stuff <laughs> so the well, baseball we're program we're not making the other people we're not making a non-handicap walk so we're not making the handicap walk if we're maybe we should just reposition the handicap Portage on to make it in between. They're already walking. Yeah, I think you probably need to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's, let's be real. Yeah. 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 It's supposed to be an ADA park, so. No, no I'm, just I'm, just, I'm just saying you got to add one of those if you added a, a regular Portage John. This, these Portage Johns are, the money we spent on Portage Johns since I've been your director, we could have built concession stand. I was just going to say, if you add up the Portage John cost, yeah. you could have saved it. You could have saved it. $600 for a new one. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, it only costs $25 to pump them out. Well, that might be might something to look into. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. 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 Yeah.
It might be cheaper. I mean, I don't know how often you have to get a pump. That would be some questions you need to ask. They get pumped every Monday. Every week, I'd say. Every yeah. week. So $100. Do you use Little John's? Yeah. I would try to find out what's the... September Fest is $1,200 alone. For four well, months. I'm not saying everywhere we have to buy for because... But no, I, I know what you mean. Then you have to get a storm. Right, then you get a storm. But for the main park... Well, we, if you do something like a local business with Little John's, maybe the work out some sort of contract we buy them they they service them right you know, so. i can look into that yeah it just we seems our, like it's a lot we'll have to sell them to to more. We'll try to buy it back from you. yeah probably okay so we didn't uh budget any money into the DNR grants because it's all budgeted in for this year. So what we'll have to do is a budget amendment according to what we use, and we'll know that by the end yeah. of the year. And then we're probably more likely. I don't know how much money we're going to get refunded this year because we just now I met with HRC at two o'clock down at their offices, and uh, we got the PSB that's needed finally downloaded. Uh, Jamie's finally has his name on the DNR as a professional service and things are moving, going to move faster on that end of thing. If we get any refunds this year, I'm not sure, but we're going to try. So all, most of that is just going to go into next year uh, when we sit down to talk about it. Which I've and uh, I apologize for the Park Subcommittee uh, not getting you prior to this, but it's, this just took place last week. Fred, do we have grant number three yet? No, that's the concessions. Okay, so we're already spending money on... That was engineering. That was engineering? Okay. And when do we find out if we... Get approved on this next one that you be any time now. Usually it's uh, November as late as December. And remember, Kathy, the one time was January. I was just curious if you heard anything. But I they tried to let you know soon, by December. Yeah, I knew it was soon. I just didn't know why. Yeah, if that's for engineering, it's in the wrong line. What's that? If it's for engineering, it's in the wrong line. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, it's all good now. Only thing it could be for is engineering. Right. Well, we'll have to follow up with Do it more cheap. Put the wrong number on it. Is what, that. <coughs> what number is that? Uh, 763 702 299. Should we move down <coughs> to engineering? The 2438. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and, uh, and we did find Karen and I, well, Karen brought. First Sue brought was over at our department care brought me. We had one bill that got put in the the third grant by mistake and where Sue's doing the journal entry and moving it back. So that might be part of some of that too. Okay. Okay, any uh, <coughs> any questions for Fred on the recreation one on one things? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Because when I had this thing that Candy made. Yeah, I started pulling our invoices. I've got invoices for four hundred and one thousand four hundred twenty-seven dollars as of today. On pay. Paid. Paid. You're showing here two hundred and sixty-six. That's almost half. Wow. So something's not yeah. adding up. Yeah, there's no. Four, there hasn't been no four hundred thousand dollars. I haven't. No, check. Well, there. Yeah, they're in the office anytime you want to come see them. The actuals are entered by the book number. Well, then the actuals what's, are behind. Time. What's the date though? Mm -hmm. the Through that's today, the, that's when we got the when we got the payroll and the dates. I mean, in the prepays today, there was some of that even. Well, this couldn't have been from today. Right. This report is not right. But current. what I'm saying is, this report is saying two hundred sixty-six thousand. I did this. I've got. 
Well, that's, like that's what it came up with yesterday with these. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that that's up to date. Right. But, but yeah, I don't because mean that. Because I know that was this totaling 401,000. That's my scare. Have they all been paid? Yeah, these are paid invoices. That's why I'm saying that. When Kim moved money from wherever to out of designated into whatever, that left 42000 in there. So that's kind of scary, too. Right. So we, we need to get money back from the DNR. I think it's what Terry's asking for. Yeah. And yeah, we don't have maybe any more you money can to give. give us a quick update of how, how far we progressed on the project. The, two, the, the, biggest two thing the biggest thing left to do is the basketball court, which can be done in next year or we got to June of 2021. The, the sand volleyball courts are all in, minus a little bit of sand. The parking lot's three quarters done. We still, we went with uh, the asphalt millings and the stone on top of that to save money. Uh, the baseball fields are in and seated. All the pipe part is in. But the, the fencing. The swales are in, and uh, that's pretty much everything. I mean, the park it's almost done, with the exception of the basketball court. Is the seed starting to take? It's uh, just curious. The seed we did two weeks ago is, and then the seed we did about nine days ago, it's starting to show little signs, but you know, it's, we just need a little bit more warm weather. There's a there's a date that Michigan goes kind of goes by a lot of the landscapers or whatever. By October 16th, you got to get seed down. We had seed down October 13th, and we've had a little bit of rain, a little cold weather there. So uh, the temperature stays above 50 during November, which will be all right. There's once, what, once we have to put the walkways in yet too, and, and, and the seed doesn't take; it's it's dead, right? No, it's called dormant seeding. It just goes dormant. Okay, and it might come back next year. Yep. It's like Bayer's a hibernate. Okay. What was that number you had again? Four hundred four hundred four hundred one four twenty seven fifty four four hundred one four twenty seven fifty four. I like to get a copy of that. It's all the invoices. You should the have them. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. your report. With my well, no, that's what it's all the invoices that I get when we have to pay the bills and do payroll and junk. Oh, I thought you had it on the No. No, I have all the invoices. We have one for you. It's a report Sue's been doing from day one. So it goes back to 16. Yeah. But, Fred, you should have some kind of accounting of what you're spending on each grant. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, so do, we do everything individually. Yeah, so maybe what you need to do is see if that equals what you well, said. Well, we should have his DNR Fred and his subcommittee people do it. I'm just taking care of what's coming out of. We, we yeah, just need a copy of the cancel. The, no, if you should have a, a report or something. The cancel the checks so are done the same. Because some of them have payroll, some of them yeah. have bills. The I don't get that back. Does that on every project, especially a grant. Always has, always will. That's part of the job. CYA. How, how do we get the the checks back from the payroll? Like a copy of that they cashed it. That would come you from You can get a report from HR. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Lisa. That's a report, not me. a payroll for those, yeah. and she can get. So we have to have those. What's that? You got to submit those. She's got. She's got to submit them to the DNR. Oh yeah, she'll definitely give you any. Yeah. All right. So we haven't gotten. Paid any from the DNR? No, there's a holdup with uh, HRC. We're on our fifth print for one thing, and then uh, they changed the. I mean, for, for number one grant, number two grant, number both. three grants. Both of them. Uh, three. We have three. We have three. We have three. Our engineer that was assigned okay. to us quit. I see. I see. I see. So okay. we had to go yeah. through the whole process. I was just wondering how this the system worked. Okay. And, it's and I forgot that HRC are. We they're do engineers and they're, they're very confused. They've committed to pay us. Yeah, we have to. Ha we have a timeline, or we don't get paid. Our timeline is March next year. So, Fred. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. When these invoices come in before you pass them on to be paid, don't you keep track of what you're requesting to be paid so we know how much you have spent? 
Hold on a minute here. Yes. When we make a request, it's, there's a form that you have to use. Right. But are you keeping separate track of that here? Yes. So then you should agree to that. Uh, right. That's what I was saying. That they so should have something in their office to see if it agrees. So we make a copy of every invoice that goes out. <coughs> the three, whoever, because you said Sue also keeps one, should all cross check each same. other. Yep. And so that's right. They only spent 401. Then we have 549, 500. Yeah, so what's the 42,000 dairy stock in the Oh, that was Trent. When the last board meeting, when we had to take it out of designated, that's how much is left in designated. Oh, for I got you. Funds. I got you. I'll come in tomorrow afternoon, and tie these things out to see what the differences are. I got to do it anyway, so. Well, and then maybe we'll, we request them. He won't them. be here tomorrow. <clears throat> That's okay. I've got the, they've got it in the books. Yeah, Kerry's got it. He's okay. going to have to be there. Yeah, I would just like to make sure that Fred knows how much he's spent so we don't overspend. Because if you don't know how much you've spent. What do you mean we won't be here tomorrow? Hmm? What do you mean we won't be here? Fred. 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 So if Fred doesn't have <laughs> keeping good track of what you've spent, you could think you didn't spend I'll something and think you can. Yeah, we'll keep track. Okay. Is Kara in tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, because if that's the thing, it's going to be at 148,000 left. A little over there. It's taking a lot longer. Of the money we put for it. I, but we do want to get the reimbursement. We need to get the reimbursement, but we can't tell HRC. We're doing a $900,000 job that was that was that bid on 500000 So you need to let HRC know that they need to get <laughs> Yeah, we have whatever you got to do to get our money back. We need to get HRC. That needs to be. That's what he was doing. He was at HRC's office and getting that all right off. Because that needs to happen so we can get some money back so we have enough to continue on. And then on top of that, we, we got into some extra cost that was not foreseen by HRC, which was that purge, that water is bubbling out of the ground. And then bought, what, six, seven thousand dollars in pipe. You know, doing, doing our best to keep Well, you still got enough money to finish it, but we got to start getting the other money back. Mm -hmm. I, exactly. <laughs> I, know, I understand. Yeah. I mean, especially if the only thing you have to do is a basketball arena for 150000 I hope that's possible. <laughs> yeah, they're still, yeah. Well, they're still we aggregate. Still we're buying. That's saying, and I don't think the parking lot is completely free. We're not three quarters. Three quarters. Three quarters. You still got sand. <clears throat> you got the sidewalks to put in. All right. You still you got the bleachers. get our money back. Okay, okay. any other questions for Brad? Mm -hmm. Right. I don't think we have any more questions for you. I don't think so. All right, thank you. Have a safe travel. Well, you know the ones that you need to like clean up, right? You know, so yes, sir. Good. Good. Drive right, careful. Drive. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Brad. Deer. Deer is Okay. Okay. I hit him, right? You don't try to swerve. Fred, you know what? Just swerve. Fred, just drive. He's a big one tomorrow. Our main hunter was good. I'll carry him around one so you got this one. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to the pier one. Okay. Um, I think the fire chief is here to talk about employee wage increases. Oh. So this is the chart <coughs> that um, Dana helped create. And it shows if we go to the There's a long one, Chris. Yeah, big bit. Oh, yeah. A long time ago I helped create it. This year I was like, no. you're just still using oh. the same schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I had to move things around because we have an extra full-time employee now with Kira uh, for 2019. And it looks like next year we'll have additional. Better need longer paper. <laughs> or it's just going to get smaller and we're going to have to use magnifying glasses. Oh, no, no. Um, yeah, you are. So anyways, based on this, um, and, and we were quoted a 0.21% increase in our medical for 2020, right, Dave? The medical point, one, yeah, point, yeah, point two one. Point two one. No, so, that that, so that's for 2020 increase okay. for your medical. We're going to pay, the township's going to pay <coughs> 0.21 more for every employee in the medical. Yeah, Only oh, BCN. Okay. The not employees not are not just, just BCN. Just BCN. Which is not very many people. No. 15 maybe total? Oh, the BCN. So is the Blue Care Network. Okay. Right. Less right. than a quarter percent increase. 
Yeah. And that's not in here, you said, Kathy, right? What? That's not in here. The increase is not in here. For the medical? Right. That's what it says at the top. That's what it says at the top. Does not include changes to medical. Medical, medical dental life. life. Correct. Because yeah. what you see is the 2019 right. numbers. Okay. So to, in, to do an increase. Be about 28,000. Oh, 29, 2 percent is sixteen seven eighty three at the bottom, and three percent is twenty five one seventy five four is thirty three five sixty seven. So what we were hoping to do this year was to do a three percent total increase, two percent going toward wages and one percent going toward pension to help bring our pension. Okay. Or whatever. No, no, our not pension. Had just the pension. No. Yeah. The pension went, our percent funding went down. They ended up changing the, as you go out, like the interest rate. So they ended up changing the interest rate down from previous calculations. So our amount contributed is down, which they needed was to it, because so our interest I, so it wasn't just a couple months ago that gave us this rosy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> rosy <laughs> forecast. <laughs> from our, our loss last yeah. year. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that's part of the issue of why we want to get more into the pension. Okay, so then I guess having said that, right, we need to like clarify that, okay? Because if it's two percent, so two percent, we're going for three percent increase overall. But right. if it's two percent increase to wages, one percent increase to the pension fund for every employee, every employee in the township. Or who does this include? This, my, my graph is just for township employees. That's just township. When we did the fire department budget, the, the fire <coughs> department um, already had the 3%. Yeah, 3% in his budget. He put it all to wages, but it's still the 3%. But so you had said at the time it was 1% going towards the. Right, what I, it what I did is we put, we put 3% in for all the different wages and. Right. right, but um, you had specified that at the time. Right? Correct. Right, okay. and right. if we and if we do it this way, I mean, he's not his numbers aren't changing. It's just where they're allocated to. Right, correct. Changing. Yeah, right. It's right. still in the same department. Right, right. Oh, so you want to just keep it at three percent? No. No. Two percent for wages. See, he okay. his with his budget, he puts it all into the same I like cost it. center department. I like whereas it. with in the one hundred and one, I've all, got it all over the place. No, I'm in favor of that, but if it's three percent. Wages alone, I'm not sure of that. No, two percent okay. increase for wages, one percent going Very to good. pension. Very good. It was against three percent increase. So the pension was sixteen, motors. and we would be putting it to seventeen. I don't know. Percent. It was fifteen, and we're going to move it to sixteen. Fifteen, and we're moving it to sixteen percent. Right, because the oh, right. the new dollar or the new percentage amount when they recalculated was at fifteen point oh one percent. So we were just over the fifteen percent. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with the yes. two and one. Yeah. I can. So is everybody in agreement to two percent wages and one percent? I can agree with that. Sure. I thought three percent wages. Is so there something you wanted to add? Because because Supervisor Thurman oh, had said you were here to discuss wages. I didn't no, know I if just, you had a different input. Well, I, it, I, 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 I like coming and watching the meetings here. too. Okay. He's going to hang out. He's going to hang out the cool guys. Well, when, you were, right. when you walked in and I'm like, wait, we already did fire. I don't see fire on here again. I'm like, oh, it's for wages. But yeah. I just didn't know if you had any new input. No, I don't have any input. I talked to you. No. Okay. No. Okay. But thank you for asking. All right. So we're all good with that. Okay. So we can go to the um, next 101 budget, which is the green, rest of the green one. <coughs> the one we were just looking at. So what I did do, which I didn't do last year, I, I put the 2% increase in everybody's oh, okay. wages in, into here. And the 1% or did you just do the 2? Because um, then are we short? I can't remember if I got the 1% or not. I think, I don't know, I'm going to have to recalculate that. <laughs> okay. What page are we on? First page, sir. Oh, okay, first page of green. Yes. For you, Jason, I don't know what, what that was <laughs> the shaded one. The shaded one. Huh. Oh, Once okay. again, that's true. It's always the shaded one. Shade, however bright, so that would be one of my 
Okay, are we like looking at everything right now, or are we just going to go down light item by light item, or what are we going to do here? Whoever you have Actually, for our BCN medical insurance, oh, that's reimbursement. Oh, yeah, did you medical. put that up there? So I had budgeted last year 173000 The year before, we only spent 141761 so far, we've spent 115214 I've waited last page. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm just trying to answer. Oh, oh okay. <coughs> 101-944-910-000. So BCN and BSB, BCBS Medical Insurance. So we, I like way overestimated for 19. For 19. Yeah. So I came down actually, but I'll have to to see if that one percent yeah. is in there. Yeah. Well, that's not one percent. That's point two. That's point two one. So this, that's for the increase. And then if we add another one percent. Once again, we're we're talking about just this is just township employees, right? Correct. That's one of All of It's the one on one I think your blue cross might be low, Kathy. Because if well, our 115 is nine months of the year. I was going to say we still have three months to go. Great. Right. So if our 115 saves nine months, because I don't know if October will be in there, nine by nine. 35. So you're at 12801 yeah, times 12 months. Is yeah, 153. I'll have to relook at that. And then if you have to add the increase, you're going to be higher than 150. You're going to be more like 180. Yeah, the increase is going to be around 9,000. That's that 9,000? What increase is that? The 1% for the blue oh. network. Nine. I'll just put the 9,000 in there. I, uh, that's for the insurance, 1%? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll put 10,000 in. I guess after you find out though what this year's is plus adding a percent on, if it's less than 160, or, I mean, if it's more than 160, then you need to increase it more than 160. I think I did the... I, I think is this through maybe is and I know through? they gave me the amount that we paid or that That's we were being billed per month and I think I multiplied that out. But I'll I'll refigure that. What are the, what are the two line items below that? What are those all about? The BCBS medical insurance reimbursement and the BCN medical insurance. Reimbursement. What, 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 what are those? Blue Cross Blue Shield <coughs> is the first one. Well, I know. But I mean, what is what is a medical insurance reimbursement fund? That is that what people that don't take insurance, or is that for... Mm -hmm. yeah, what are, what are, we, why are we paying for that? Or what are, why are we paying? We reimburse... We should we reimburse if they... If they're... The $2,000. They're deductible. Something like they're deductible. Well, I know that um, <coughs> BCN automatically does a reimbursement. Yeah, they do. Because <coughs> I get something in the mail saying. And that's where that comes out for the BCN reimbursement. Oh, well, is that a positive or a negative? Is that a debit or a credit? You're saying reimbursement? Those are all done. I mean, are we reimbursing the, the company or, We're or are they reimbursing the, us? They're, they reimburse the employees. Oh. That comes, oh, yeah. If for the, the employees have to pay for. It's for the retirees. The no. There isn't this. Well, they're you got no, that no, one separate. Different. Okay. There's, there's <coughs> the, the, the BCN. next two after those two. Right. <laughs> yeah. And and there's there's the retirees. Remember, we have yeah. a third party administrator that has something to do with. It's with the HRA. It has something to do with that HRA. We have to yeah. pay that. We have to pay the third party administrator for that. So which one is that? 101 or 102? I don't know. If Sue was here, she'd be able to I know. <laughs> Sue. She used to come to these meetings. The bookkeeper. Yeah, the bookkeeper used to. Chestnut? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just wondering. Okay. 
So it's some sort of reimbursement for administration costs. Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I, it's the certain plan that we have. The way we have it's a reimbursable plan, and because we have a higher deductible. So if so we don't spend yeah. as much, do we get? If we don't, if so, then we don't get mad, We get money back. Yeah, we get that with our health insurance, yes, like where the insurance company has to give back money to, depending on your insurance plan, the insurance company, if it doesn't need it certain things, they are sending you back money from the previous year's premiums. Is that what it is? Yeah, see like in 19, we have 30,000, but we only spend 11. No, I'm looking at the line above. It has to do with the medical plan that we have. That if that we have to pay extra because it's high deductible or something like that. Yeah, it, it has to do with our HRA because we do have yeah. a high deductible plan right. which saves us premium funds. Right. And right. we have found that the so if we pay the re, the difference of the deductible, right, that it, it's a cheaper plan overall. Correct. Oh, so, so this is showing payment cheaper. of the deductible in addition to so that's what's going on. what we have. And so we say pay a higher, yeah, no, they, we get a cheaper insurance because we pay, we have a higher deductible correct. across the board, but the bottom line is to yeah. make up for that, we have to like pay. give some money to the employees to cover Well, actually, we don't deductible. give it to the employees, we give it to, back the, to the medical office. Oh, you give it back to the company, right? Yeah. the insurance yeah. company. Right. No. The providers. No. The provider. The doctor's office, the hospital. So okay. like a copay thing. Okay, right. Because not everybody uses the deductible. That's yeah. why. And there, and we have a okay. third-party administrator through. Is it through Burnham and Flowers, or they do some? They do United Or Healthcare. is it BCM that's the third party? You guys are. You guys got some really good insurance companies, Dana. You got a great insurance company. Uh, gives you uh, <laughs> refunds. I mean, my, my insurance company never in my lifetime have I ever gotten <laughs> money back. I mean, it, the next year it's, it's always it an increase. Something like that, I've never gotten a refund. This I mean, is us reimbursing actually. We're, yes, exactly. Well, no, what I'm saying though is, I mean, you're talking about your, your private one. I mean, holy cow, that's great. And, that, and that's a number that I mean, we don't know how to budget for, we're just hurt. guessing. As far as I'm, I'm in my life, right? Because what, what we're guessing on, you know, if you don't mind me interjecting, is what we're guessing on is past history, right? Um, and if we were to figure out what the total would be and um, did the max amount of what that deductible would be, then obviously we'd have to put a lot more money in there. But what we're going on is what our past, past history. histories have been since we've been in this county, right. and we have saved significantly mm -hmm. by doing this. Mm -hmm. No, that's a good idea. Yep. I, uh, I, I like it a lot. Uh, I just need to understand what was going yeah. on here. That's why I asked the question. Yep. And I was like, who, who's getting reimbursed and why are they getting reimbursed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good thinking. I do that with my car insurance <coughs> and my house. Okay, so let's go back to the revenues for the 101. Are there any questions on, on the revenues, green line? Going back to the front page. Yep, front page. And the, and the next two pages. Yep. So we really haven't gotten anything back from that land grant thing, right? That's why we there's nothing in there. Yes, we don't know if we're getting anything. Or we haven't gotten anything back from that. Okay. <coughs> so why so. is the trailer park tax going down? They yeah. just sold it. Pardon me? They just sold Sashbaugh Meadows. Yeah. So why is the tax going to go down just because they sold it? That I don't know, but I did hear today that it was sold. It was but sold, but I don't know that that has any time out. Well, they could have taken taxes on it. It was sold in the north half. Well, yeah, but we had two parcels. We had 5,300. Those are actuals. We budgeted 3,500 last year. And it's it's just a low estimate. Yeah, as I was gonna say we, we haven't been under five for the past two years, so that that's okay. It's being conservative. Yep. It's, it's money coming in. What line am, what line is that again? The third one on the front page. Trailer park. Third one. Oh, I'm sorry. On the first page. Right. So it's 
So the first two lines are actuals, then 2019 budget, then our activity so far, and then for this year, and then 2020 is a budgeted amount estimate. That's a lot of now going back to this trailer park sale, um, it really won't have anything to do with us. Yeah. They're just changing owners. Yeah. I guess my only question is: Is uh, does anyone know anything about the new owner, or is he better than the current owner, or is he worse than the current owner? Or is he <laughs> he's be worse. Uh, uh, he's much worse. Yeah. 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 So he's going to let the place owner? go to hell and, and just like you know, he's, you're going to lose your house. So much money. You're not there on the first of the month with cash or check money. Oh, really? Actually, he's no check. Play hardball. Oh, anybody. yep. Well, and I got that from. That's going to get her. Uh, the lady who runs the care and share out is saying guys taking our uh, trucks and uh, doing some numbers on that uh, office. It's not good because she goes out there typically and says these are the people that I help every month because they're low income and they need the help and I guarantee you'll get your money. And he's like too bad. Mm. The owner said he's not accepting that letter. Uh, I think she called it a letter of commitment. Who, who was it then? Karen Milligan out at Oak oh, yeah, yeah, St. Anne's. Yeah, she yeah. works on uh, yeah, half of the about. people who can't afford because they get paid oh. different times in the month okay. or may not have enough money every month to make the rent. Yeah. And it's too bad. That's why I asked the question, you know, because I, you know, it was. You but know, there's nothing anybody can do. Well, no. What I, I want to know is uh, is it, you know, good or bad for us as a township? I mean, it's and, very and, bad and for, for our citizens. Uh, you know, I mean, it's very bad. You know, uh, that's, uh, that's very sad. I'm sad to hear that. Yep. Okay. That was my question of the day. Or my second question of the day, actually. That's really good. Okay. More problems down. <laughs> More problems for the police down at the, at the park. Any questions on any of the revenues? Well, the last two, you have no, no activity at all. Are they just not being used anymore? No activity on the last two on that first page. Yeah. Um, and the first two on the next page. Apparently not. Okay. I know after five years, it could be taken off. And I'm wondering if the cost recovery for the police is in the police budget now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, find this police. I think that probably in the police budget. I don't know. That's just Court how it showed is. up on the BSME. I was just curious. He said court fines. So court fines is in the police one. Is it? Yeah. I don't know what it's in. I don't see what cost recovery is on the other side. I don't see cost recovery though. I'm beginning with software on the next page. So that would be a Sue question. I don't know how that got there either. I'm writing her lots of notes. Why do we have <laughs> 77,000 CDBG reimbursements? That's so much we've gotten back from the county. When we do a project like the Senior Center Kitchen, We'll oh, we've been doing more, so that's why we got more back. I'm like, it's just larger. I got gotcha. you. We didn't have that extra. It we actually, work this year, so, we got so when I budget, I budget uh, the same amount in revenue that we plan on spending that year, but it doesn't happen all in the right. same year. No, nope, I understand what it is now. I just was thinking about something else. That's actual money from 17, 15, 16, and 17 is in there. <coughs> I was thinking it was the money that you get that you distribute out and that you were oh. showing someone. I'm like, you don't, you don't get money from her distributing it out, but it's what I wanted to Okay, having said that, once again, okay, I'm, I'm not an accountant. So when you use the word reimbursement, we, we are not getting reimbursed. As a township, we are paying well, out money. No, we are getting no, reimbursed for this. For There's in the revenues, that can go either way. In the revenues, where it says reimbursement, that means we are getting paid. But when it's in the expense, it's where we're reimbursing. reimbursing. You can reimburse oh. either way, and that's where I was getting confused at the insurance one. As I was thinking, it was in revenues, and we were looking at expenses. Yeah. Okay. I got you. All right. Thank you. 
Because you have to, when you get reimbursed, that's the other thing too, is you have to watch where you put it. If you get reimbursed on something that you spend, it shouldn't go over to revenues, it should actually go against the expenditure. The expenditure. Right. Yeah, that's why I'm confused, and that's why I asked the question. And then you don't. But if know it's in revenue, it if it's in the revenue it. side, it's it's a plus, right? Is that what we said? And if it's in the expense side, it's a minus. Yeah. Okay, very good. So it's a plus in we revenue. We can confuse you more and talk about debits and credits are the opposite thing. Don't know. No, I do. No, I do know debits and credits. Look, I I do know a little bit about debits. Yeah, they're different than at your bank. Yeah, they're different well, than at the bank. No, I actually have a couple of financial classes. Okay. My master's degree. Yeah. All right, so riddle me this, that, ma'am. <laughs> what is trans, trans tri party designate? Transfer? Went, oh, that's the that's transfer. That's transfer. Tri party transfer, road money. Tri party road tri money. Ah, so we went down to 15,000, is what we're. Uh, we're not doing the Sashaba. Okay. Oh, does that include the sash and bond in there? So, the, the so what we do is seven. we we figure out how much. Okay, so tri party is one third us, one third the road commission, and one third the Oakland County. Okay. So they they figure out how much everybody's going to contribute every year. So then I budget for that amount, which is roughly fifteen thousand. Of us, of our money, so it would be three times. So forty-five is what okay. we get total, and then that means that we're putting it in our committed fund. Okay, right. And then when we go to spend it, we take it out of the committed. Okay. So that's why it. we had eighty thousand for two thousand nineteen, because mm -hmm. that went towards. That went to Sashaba. So we actually right. spent eighty-seven to right. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Well, I was just wondering why the variation was. Yeah, because it came in and then we spent it out. Okay. Right. Yeah, we got it in from the, from the desk. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, so this 15000 here, that's what I'm planning on spending out of tri-party money on gravel for roads next year. Oh, okay. We don't have any projects, so we're not going to be taking any extra right. money. Right. And obviously so we're not getting any money in because, because that would be included. I can't remember the exact amount that we get, huh? We're, so we're not getting any money in from them? No, we should be. Yeah. yeah so whenever we spend tri-party, if we spend right. 15000 of our money, then the road commission's going to spend fifteen thousand. Right, but right. it doesn't no, go into our budget. They get. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. 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 So That's what I was looking for. It on, it's on like our yeah. you pay me ten bucks and he pays right. ten bucks. And it's right. So what? So the yeah. So the, what those fifteen thousand means is, I'm planning on spending fifteen thousand next year. Of our third. Of our third. Right. Okay. right. So that'll be forty-five thousand right. dollars. Gotcha. So whoever does the, the work gets billed from paid gets paid from three places. Right. Or at least two, us and the other two mm -hmm. might pay together, I don't know. Uh, no, because no, it's two separate, two separate places. Yeah. places yeah, so. This is most of the things all very yeah. special yeah. all by yeah. themselves. <laughs> Just make sure Costco. <laughs> They're your buddies, Bob. They're your buddies. I love it. They could carry every chance they make. Cleanup days is what we do with bedrock. Yeah. So uh, we don't charge I thought you were charging $10 for That's the part of the um, no hands. No hands. We're not charging on it. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So that line could go by. Yeah, I don't know what. Well, and maybe maybe at one time we, we collected for the tires and then we gave it back to Bedrock. That might have happened. Okay. But now Bedrock stands out there and collects all the right. tires. Right. They make the piles. Oh, good. Good job. Okay, are we all good with the revenues? That's good. Okay. Revenues, yeah.
Oh, she's on the side. Way in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just saw it circled it. Yeah. In the, in the planning commission? That's a Sue thing she's going to yep. change. Yeah, she'll have it changed. I missed that, will then. Tomorrow. We, have, we don't have the correct names for trustees on oh. here. So Sue's working part-time right now because she has, didn't use her vacation and she's got till next Thursday, Wednesday, to use it or she loses it. Gotcha. Are the names in the financial report? Yep. So it's been like this for a long time? Yep. Yeah. Nobody reads it. Nobody uh, reads it. Are you getting your checks okay, Jason? Yeah. My check <laughs> 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 we'll get it fixed. I apologize for that. It's all right. I read it, but I probably just look at the name. And Mostly, I'm looking at the numbers. Right. Mm -hmm. I think we're not so much the description, but we'll fix it. Yeah. Well, I look at the description when I get to my wages, and I know I'm at me. It's the trustees. So I don't really look at all the rest of the names. Okay, so everybody's good with the trustees. It's just stayed, stayed the same as last year. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So. Um, not that I want to give myself an increase, but we talked about employees. Does that include all of the? Well, usually we get the trustees a two percent increase too. Does that include like the other? Um, but none of the trustees PC. have gotten even close to their four four thousand. Four thousand. True, but I just know we've always had this conversation when we sit and talk about the wages. We kind of didn't sit and talk about that. Are we doing everybody? Are we doing PC, all of the different? Well, that's a good question. Really what do we want to do? Because that's what I'll present at our next meeting, whatever we want to do. The way you just no, I don't want to go across the board. I think last year, didn't we? Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. I'm planning to Almost. Do a whopping buck and a half. I Almost, because there was a few employees did not get an increase like um, the janitor. Oh. And the janitor this year is on a contract, yeah. so that yeah, wouldn't she's change. Not, yeah. so she's not yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just know sometimes in the past they haven't done ourselves or the other elected officials yeah. or all of the different things, and like we didn't really kind of skip that part of that conversation. Okay, so is everybody good with across the board? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Across the board, it is. Going to, okay, know, I, I just wanted to. Visit. It's going to be another two, two dollars. Maybe maybe two and a quarter. <laughs> You're rich now. Whoa! Watch out, man. <laughs> do a lot with All right, supervisors, cost center. Why not? It's supervisors. Make a lot of money, man. Yeah, that's it. When you retire. I won't be able to beat you while you're in office. Or if you're running. I'm joking. Gosh. Okay. So I, I put the 2% increases in all the wage lines. For is the election worker wages going to be enough candy because there's three elections and in 18, was there three or was there only two? In 18? Yeah, was there three? There was one. There was one. There was 24. No, no. There was two. I was going to say there was two, two in 18. Yeah. It was two. It was two, it was two but will 24 you know, be enough I if there's I three? Yeah. No. Okay. No. That's what I thought. So that's why exactly. I it. No, we need to. Um, I didn't. I didn't when I reviewed this at home because I didn't know. Well, I didn't honestly, think about the number of elections. When I originally did this, I didn't see we get reimbursed for the pre for the presidential primary. Oh, so the workers up there at the top plus the twelve thousand dollars that the presidential primary will cover. Them. That okay. would cover the three. So that twenty four is actually for two it elections. It's for two. Which yeah. we're going to have three, so that yeah, needs to be up because remember the reimbursement. Yeah. Oh, but the but reimbursement's down The here. third okay. election's all by gotcha. itself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that. No. Well, Karen and I went over it because we wanted to make sure we were going to be good. Okay. So, and we. Yeah. And then you have 12 coming in somewhere for that. We also have um, 
Oh, we didn't put anything, sorry. Yep, and then we got special election reimbursement, so there it goes. That matches up. Just we get paid back for it. Right, and it's there. It up. Yeah. It's there, we're good. Yep, I think we'll be fine. As you say, for all these all these positions, the two percent's been figured out. Right? Oh, except for the treasurers. <laughs> she forgot me. What about the one percent? Oh, oh, that? Oh, oh, that? Oh, is that? Oh, oh, 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 that? Yeah, I see that. <coughs> okay. She'll fix it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Checks in the mail. <laughs> so the, uh, the uh, assessor, this contract with service, right? Mm -hmm. He's not an employee. Right. He's so both. are you He's anticipating? Both. He's both. He does both. Yeah. Right. So is this increase anticipating a increase in his contract? Or is that an increase anticipated increase in his wage? Well, it doesn't go to contract because this is just employee side, but it would go to. <coughs> <coughs> contract and services under assessor. We do we do both to the assessor, but I think they're put together into the wages line. We do both to the assessor, but when we do a two percent increase with the one percent, it doesn't go to his contract and service part. That's a separate contract. It's right. going to his wages line. Right. I think they should be separated out. They are separated out. There's wages. No, no the no. wages are not. They're not. They're all in. The it's all in one amount. Yeah. No. It's yeah. wages it back be separate. It should be contract, separate so you can see what's what. Just because. like deputy okay. is separated out. So then ask to make two lines for there and we'll. Right. Yeah. And then only the wages separate. part should have. We'll get the entries. Yeah. But it should be separate because of issuing a 1099 and a W 2. If you ever want to match them up, you can't then. Wages appraiser one would be friend by that wages finger. Okay. Overtime wages? What would that be for? If they have to work over forty hours a week. Is she hourly now or is she salary? Oh she's hourly. hourly. She's hourly. Tomorrow. There's overtime in every department. Right. I just wasn't sure. I can't remember if really? mm -hmm. They just usually don't get used, or if it is, it's a very small amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like $90. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like so far, it's 66. <laughs> Mine's 83. Any questions about the assessing cost center? All right, any questions on the clerk's cost center? So that cost center will get amended with um, the new full time person. So that will be this permanent that we changed the permanent already. <laughs> no, it was already oh, there. Oh, it was? Oh, yeah. Okay, so her wages will, oh, I see, it's 25. We already have that as estimated. Yeah. Now, what are we calling that now? Permanent, permanent split. Part split. It won't be part time. Yeah, I say permanent split part time. Part -time. No, so it'll be full time. We get rid of just the, the, the split part time to full time, right? Mm -hmm. Or split part, I should say. Permanent, permanent split. She's a permanent split employee. Okay. Permanent split full time. Okay. Any questions on Board of Review? Terry, how's the new guy? 
Sunday's great. Um, Kathy, your uh, deputy under treasurer is not right either. It should be 591 okay. to match the clerk deputy. Yep. Thank you. Yep. <coughs> Any other questions on the treasurer's cost center? What about the um, permanent part-time assistant? He took a decrease. He shouldn't. Well, that's because he's brand new. He's brand new. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm looking at what was budgeted. I guess that was for the whole year? Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. So, all right. It's like $800 difference. Question answered. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Equipment maintenance and repair or tear, that's just what? Uh, just computer stuff? Or yeah, what? in the office. Okay. And the equipment run all the what? Like copiers, that kind of stuff. Okay. One's computer, one's copier, is it? Like copier. Yeah. Education, I'm assuming that's training? Correct. Usually no. <laughs> Can't imagine why. <laughs> why you would have it. Well, so we used to put ads in the paper to pay taxes. We have a website now, and trust me, people know because they get their bill. And yeah. I get phone calls. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, I agree. You just put an ad in the paper to pay your taxes. Yeah, <laughs> taxes come out in our Dubai, yeah. But, you know. I remember that. That was years ago, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I do remember that. I used to always like, laugh at it. Kind of uh huh. Go, I didn't do okay. it. It wasn't me. Yeah. I know. That's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Are we good with that? Are we going on to property maintenance? Not going to pay my tax. That's for mainly the, the, this, this building here? This building, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Only this building? Yes. It, like, switch over I'm guessing at 34000 was the generator? Yes. Yeah. It looks pretty. Does yeah. it work? Well, we <laughs> don't know yet. We, <laughs> ju we just got the gas line upgraded today. Oh, okay. So as soon as they come out, they'll be able to get it operational. But you shouldn't be able to back into it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to try to put the windows in in 2020? Because I don't see that on here. Yes, Jason Wilson. He was in the building the other day. Oh, he walked the right day? down your hallway, and I said, yay, he's going to finally give Kathy your answer. But why do we have to get it from one person? He's coming up with specs, and then we're going to get it up off those specs. And I, this says it's cattle. I'm just waiting for them to get delivered. And, and for windows. These okay. windows and the front of the building. Uh, the stone. Yeah. And uh, that wall. Oh. So he so he was going to do a, a drawing. I mean, for my house. house my house generator. Yeah, I have been waiting since 2013 since I started bugging about it to <laughs> fix <laughs> the bricks <laughs> and the damn windows. Okay. I'll be installing it, I think, later. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have stones to throw. It'll be done when the kitchen's finished with that. It's done. <laughs> Almost. Oh, 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 I knew that was coming. Yeah. There's $6,200 that the uh, contractor has not collected and will not be collecting. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're going to use for windows at the senior center. All right. Cool. Very cool. So we're good with property maintenance, yeah. yep. senior center. So just as a FYI, um, at our next meeting, we're going to be coming to you with 
approval to contract with, um, I don't know, it's a division of Michigan Works. They're, they're, they've got seniors that will come and work for us, but they pay them. Oh, really? And it's up to three years, but it's a contract we have to enter in, so I'm going to bring it to the board for approval. Excellent. What would they be with? Like, the They'll be working at the senior center. Um, they can drive if they have a chauffeur's license. They can help where needed. So what happens to our current employees? We don't have enough of them <laughs> for drivers, right? No, we don't have enough drivers. Right, but will the ones who we do have, will they have the opportunity to continue? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is on top of Okay. I was not sure. You were looking at replacing. This is just to get extras. So is it strictly just the senior center they can work for, or just the township in general? I don't know. We have a meeting with the 12th. See if retired seniors have some skill oh, levels, maybe we could use it in the office here. And I, I don't know. For an intern, they can come work for me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we all need some talented people. But we'll have time to discuss it in our next meeting. Good. Okay, any questions on Senior Center? Just the last line on the equipment and capital outlay. We put in a parking lot. Oh, is that what the 1760 was for? Okay. And Thanks. you should. Yep, we didn't move on. Parking lots. Right. Okay. Good enough. We'll put your sure. lights on the porches. And nothing uh, forecast in the future? Uh, no. Candy? Okay. No. It's good. good. It's good over there. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. I got I to gotta get over there and take a look around. Looks really nice. Yeah. Okay, how about smart vehicles? Any questions on that? We really spend that much money on gas, diesel, and oil. Well, a thousand. We would spend less if we got our new vehicle. I ordered in 2017. It finally just last week sent us the number of the bus, which means the keys are coming pretty soon. It's two years from ordering it, they pay for it, to getting it to us. So repairs will go down. It's out of smart. I know, but I mean, but we don't have the bus though, do we? We have three. Yeah, I know. But I mean, we don't have the new bus yet. No, 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 no. But it's close. When they give you the number, then it's real close to okay. saying, come pick it up. Here's your keys. Cool. Okay. Just wondering. And we won't have a diesel anymore, so that'll be helpful. Yeah. Diesel fuels. Okay, community development. <coughs> So mm -hmm. the $40,000 that we are projecting to spend, that's what we projected in our revenue. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. On the 4th, November 4th, I have um, one of our s public services that we give funding to is going to come and have a talk with us. Anyway, we are not getting 40000 in 2020. We're only going to get 27000 so do you want me to, so do you yeah. want to amend these? Yes, Should you could let me know. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll just do both. Yep. Can I let you know tomorrow it's, yep. it's in the office, I just yep. can't remember. Yep. Why, 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 why did that happen? Um, HUD is dropping, cutting, 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 cutting. Eventually oh, yeah. we'll end up not even qualifying and because of all the money. Federal to government. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. Pontiac, whatever. So that will be going down. Does some other groups know that we usually give to you? Yeah. Okay. As far as projects at the senior center, are we anticipating doing any larger projects? Nothing at the senior center out of 2020. Okay. 
because we have funding to do the windows and doors and that's the last everything in that building has been updated. pretty much redone or updated or, yep made ADA compliant just a question about the financial audit Mm -hmm. Got budgeted twenty five grand. So far, it's twenty thousand five hundred. When you do the audit, isn't that a one time event? Where no. are you at? The next page. His contract is one amount, but he comes out here periodically and he bills us. In fact, he's coming out this week, so we'll be getting more bills from him this year. Yeah. So every time he comes out, he bills. Yeah. For services. Okay. Yes. I, I, I didn't know. I, yep. I thought there was a financial audit. I thought it was once a year. There thing. is. And what you could do is just change that name to be accounting or CPA instead of just the audit because it's not just the audit. Yeah. That would, that would be like a more clear. How about financial auditor? Yeah, or add. Yeah, auditor or something. It's not just the audit, it's all of the work he does too. Yeah, yeah and next year you got to get ready for an extra audit too because. When I leave office in 2020, there's got to be a fiduciary audit. So they make sure when nothing's hitting. Just for that one year? Yeah, just for the outgoing and incoming. And I think I added that in there. The, an extra 1500 Because we spoke about that, and I think right. I put an extra 1500 yep. in there for that. Yep. Yeah, because then you don't have to have like the financials all. Just the treasurer. Right, just the treasurer's office. You don't have financials and all that. You just have to come in and make sure all the bank accounts are Nice. So yeah, it's not going to cost as much as everything else. Yeah, you have already had that discussion with them. Yeah. Okay. All right, building inspection. I've got a lot of line items. Yeah, they do. That's a new employee, so the wages will go up from this year. What is the new employee? Oh, the administrative assistant. Why is the supplies going up so much? What's he got to buy? That's a good question. $5,000 up? The operating supplies, yeah. Oh, let's see. I know one thing that he wants to do is he wants to start um, uh, putting his um, plans and everything, elect storing it electronically, digital, digitally storing that. So he'll be bringing that to us next year. And I think he put, uh, that's probably for professional services. That's why that, that line went up. Oh wait, no. No, no it's up in no. okay. operating, operating supplies. supplies. I believe it was that. He talked it's about the five. Was it operating Yeah, that's supplies? the $5,000 difference. Yep. Oh, okay. Then it must be in operating supplies. Well, professional services did go up too. No, no, they didn't. Oh, I see. Yeah. Five thousand. Yeah. Or it yeah. might not spend. Yeah, that. because she was brand new and she'll be at a higher wages. Okay. I mean, they don't get penalized for not spending. Uh, Correct. Their, their oh, it's good for us. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm. You know, I'm not being facetious. At General Motors, uh, if you you know managers, uh, you know, if you didn't spend your budget, uh, the next year if you went in. Uh, your boss would look at you and say, like, hey, guess what? No. That's because they figured you didn't really do a budget. <laughs> well, not only that, but it was like, you didn't need that much last year. Exactly. You didn't you spend that much, yeah. so we're not giving you that much. It's what just like the guys that uh, work no. out our, 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 our COC. Same thing. The city used to be like if they don't like to use the guy there at salt, then they get less salt next year. Yeah. Oh, so it's not been recorded correctly. No, it's not. Okay. On the mileage and expense. So that's another sick question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't I have any truck repairs in there either. What was that, Jason? Any, he hasn't done any truck repairs this year either. No oil changes or anything. Hmm. $78 worth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's That would be an oil change. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, sorry, I've got the wrong publications out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> and when I get the truck washed. Yeah. 
So he puts in the gas and I wash. you go to the quarter car wash? I go to I go to the drive through Forster's. Forster's, yeah, whatever it is. Mm. 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 Metro Authority, is that still a, a, a viable entity? What is it? Where are you reading that? He's down. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that $70,000 I budgeted last year, that was supposed to go toward the Sashbaugh Road Paving Project. So I have to call them and make sure that we settle up. And if there's additional funds, we'll take it out of that. What do you mean so, settle? What do you mean settle? With the Sashbaugh Road Paving, if yeah. we owe anything more, I don't I don't know how much we paid and how much, what the bill was entirely off the top of my head. So I just want to call them and make sure, because they took a lot of it out of tri-party funds. Metro Authority funds are for road projects, but it, it's not for like graveling. It's got to be in the road right of way. So the Sashabaugh project would have qualified for using Metro Authority funds to pay for it. Or Pay for part of it. Okay, so they are going to give you a bill here shortly, I guess by the end of the year. I would think. Well, we've already paid for a lot of it, so I don't know if we still owe anything or not. No, well, that's, okay. So I got to call them and find out. Okay, so really against that, there should be some sort of activity that we've already done. Um, if you're looking at what I'm looking at. But not Metro Authority, because no. they took it out of tri party funds. Oh, okay. I see, which is below roads and streets, tripartite repairs. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yep. Okay. So you can see, we I budgeted okay. 80, we spent 87. Okay, I see. I want to jump the gun since we're on the topic of the Sasha Bar. Could you ask Lieutenant Glover if they can do like a speed study on that new stretch? That's, that's like a dragway now. Did they post it at 50? I haven't seen any posting signs yet. Oh, they were supposed to go. Yeah, I thought they were supposed to go. But, yeah. And it's like a dragway. <laughs> so I'd be real interested to see what kind of speed so the results they come up with. Well, I, I, I thought that we agreed that, or they agreed that they were, were going to post it at 50. Well, no matter what they're posting it, still, it still looks like a dragway. Well, so. well we really don't have any say in yeah. what they posted, but that's what I was told. Yeah, that's what, that's what I heard too. That's what, yeah, we were told. We were all told. But I mean, if it's posted, then you just put police out there and start mapping these guys. So you want just a speed study, just to give just to give an idea. Yeah, how fast people are going because it's it's like a straight shot that's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. It is a straight shot. Yeah, I haven't gone down there yet either. Yeah, I have <laughs> that thing. Oh man, it's nice and wide. So and it's straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, up, and if you're going north, then you're going to end up into the traffic, and that's not. Yeah. Now they're not putting stop signs there, like we were hoping. Yeah, because that intersection at the very end, that's going to be a problem, too. Mm -hmm. you know now, right? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, street lighting, what does that include? Street lighting. <laughs> well, street lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just in general, street lights, if somebody wants a street light someplace? No, the ones that are traffic lights. Oh, is We paid for the traffic light at the high school. Um, Fifteen. Okay, I, this is one. Probably the one down. Do we pay for the one at M15 and Subway? Isn't back? this like the street lights also like at M15? I don't think so. Who would pay that? Hmm? Who would pay that one? Subway. No, I think. The, um, MDOT. MDOT. Oh. MDOT it's going to DTE, so but I'm we guessing it's the... But we paid for the one at the high school because we wanted to have a That's what I thought. Yeah. You know, it's just for like, so now it's, you know, it wasn't... And I thought that we paid some but of I, the village, too, lights. for this, for the one at Beaky's. And the one at um, but I, I, but I think this the is... The one at Beaky's. I think this is street lights. It's not street lights, yeah. Yeah. It's not traffic lights. No, it's not. That's what I just said. It's not. But I think... The regular street lights. So, no, I mean, I my, my question, but original I know question was, 
Um, we decide whether that's why we shouldn't pay for the white jets either because that's no, not right here. That would be in the right driveway. Okay. Because yeah. we have to, we have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, so they, what, in the building department and says, yeah, no, the township board has to pay. Oh, we decide we because we have to pay for the cost of an additional structure. Okay, so we've already paid for $17,000, almost $18,000. That's, that's, that's a year for old. energy. That's for <coughs> oh, to run electricity. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, we already own. Yeah. Right. It's okay. like the city of Detroit where they didn't pay their bill on yeah. DTE. Okay, so there's certain of those, those lights on on 15, we own. Not all of them, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't know about the yeah. ones in the but the ones like out on Oakwood right. or Cibola. Okay. Or That's Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah. Oakwood and Fifteenth. I would have thought Oakwood County. You know, <coughs> 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 yeah. Now you mentioned we own the, uh, <coughs> the street light at uh, the so high school. Yeah. And who who There's monitors it? Monitors the street light. Yeah, I mean, who controls the street light and, and the hours that works and um, it doesn't work? The yeah, input, yeah, input from the sheriff's department officers that work for us. And, and so they have the charge of it. Well, and it's in conjunction with MDOT because it's on their street, their road. That's what I was wondering. So. Yeah, I've seen that, that light work. But the line. road commission maintains M15, so they're involved too. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, good enough. Yeah, because yeah, so I've, I've seen it working at 1 o'clock at night, and I'm like, what's up with this? Yeah. There's no cars in the road, and all of a sudden it turns red, and I'm like, uh, come on, cut it out. Which one? You want the high school? High school light. That's the guy. Yeah, that's the weirdest thing. I'm like, you got to be joking me, man. I'm like the only car in the road. <laughs> and there's no one coming in or going in. So. Okay, roads and streets. So, um, last year I budgeted $20,000 for gravel and we didn't get quite a whole mile done. So next year, I'd like to increase that to 30,000 plus use the tri-party funds, which is another 45. So that gives us a total of $75,000 to put toward gravel for the gravel roads. So hopefully the prices will be better than they were this year. Because there were townships this year that didn't even buy gravel just because of the cost. <coughs> so. Did we? It looks like we didn't spend a dime. Well, we, uh, I, we, I just submitted it. I just submitted it. <laughs> so, I so she's it. okay on that one. That one just got submitted like last week. I just got that done. Okay. Okay. So it'll be in there soon. So that's the biggest change in the roads and streets. Okay, now, who determines if it's a gravel road or not? Or how is it determined? If what's a gravel road? Just any dirt road. Well, they're all gravel roads. Who determines if they get paved? No, who determines if they get more gravel? We do. We do? People yeah. call and complain and say, my road is a piece of garbage, and Kathy goes out and looks, right? Unless well, it's yeah. a private road. Uh, oh, well, this is how it goes. Yeah. Um, I've yeah. got, if you ever want to see it, in my office I've got maps. And it shows when they we added gravel to all the roads, what year. Right. So we kind of go, it's kind of like a cycle as far as trying to get to all the roads in the township. Okay. So kind of, we get a lot of input from the road commission. But our roads subcommittee is also involved in the decision on which roads. <laughs> Okay. With a lot of input from the road commissions. So. Okay. <laughs> that's I mean, it, you know, the it. reason why I asked the question was, is yeah, yeah, I mean, the parts of Honert that I live on, uh, yeah, they, they, you know, they did some grading and then they brought in a bunch of gravel and they decided to like lay it in. And uh, I haven't seen that like in years. And I'm kind of going like, wow. We they did that just in a certain area. 
Yeah. Well, then that was maintenance, and that was paid for by the road commission. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's try to get this done in 15 minutes. I'm fading fast. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. This one, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, come back. Okay. Yeah, Recreation, we already went through. Park operations all the way. So then we're down to the Planning Commission, 101805. Yeah, and I only just was looking at that. And, and, uh, Same budget as last year. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. And, and I guess I don't. It doesn't mean we have to spend it all the state yep. the way it is. Yeah. Okay, move on. There's nothing there to spend. I just don't think there was Because we didn't have that many meetings this mm -hmm. year, Chris. But, no, I don't. But I don't the budget that, allows that's for more meetings. That's what I mean. That's okay. Good um, the zoning You're going to be in my way back. Same budget as last year for that, too. Now, right. is that one kind of post, though, if with the increase or not? Because I did see in the past it was 3700 this 500 enough for the increase. It, it all depends how many meetings they have. And right. Then, but and I just meet, that's that's right. determined by how many appeals we get that come in. So we have no way of knowing how many meetings they're going to have. Right. So I'm saying, do you think 500 is enough for the increase in wages to cover the Probably, I guess. I don't see any increase. So. Yeah. I'm not seeing any increase. It's 42 to 42. Right. Okay. She's asking. I'm from the activity, the 18th oh, yeah, activity, wages. and if we increase wages, is 500 enough for the increase of just the wages in general? And then well, because the, ac the activity in 18 was a lot more than we had in this year. Right. And, but we okay. just never know. So right. I don't know. I you could, think it's I could okay? push. Bunch, I'll, I'll put that up to 45. How's that? That one just looks like it has a lot, not as much leeway as the planning commission one did for our meetings. Did. So. Yeah, I'll put it up a little bit. Okay. Hmm. I'm good there. Okay, equipment shared. Any questions on that one? Pretty, pretty similar. Insurance yeah. and bonds. We have a credit, it looks like. They send us a refund again, is that what that is? <laughs> yes, they do send us a refund. <laughs> <laughs> they do, yeah. there's insurance that sends us a refund. Oh, I remember we got a big check the one time. <coughs> like more than we made for the year. But really? it's negative this year though, so why is it negative this year? Why did they owe us? Why is the activity negative? 8796, what's that? I don't know. Was a, was the total fifty thousand? Forty two. Something like that that they um, refunded us. Yeah, but mm -hmm. but we also paid, and then they refunded, and I don't think they refunded us more than we paid. No, but that may not got did it get dispersed to all the different departments like fire department. It should have. It should have. Yeah. Right. That's. I think it did. I well, just well, want to look at that. That history yeah. makes sense. That's 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 negative. Question. That's all. So in this case here, this is a credit? Yeah. Um, and, and this is not just MMRMA, this involves um, uh, what's... Rumble now, instead of whatever it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Workman's kind of oh, workman's cop. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if we got something back. Oh, and sometimes you do get workers comp back, yeah, or sometimes you don't. Yeah, it's usually not much. No. So that's a simple question. But we'll find out. Okay, 101-944, which has pretty much everything else in it. Remind me again, what was the, uh, due to the li library operating? Why do we owe them money? What was that all about? I forgot. Can we collect it? What are you looking at? The 5928 activity. I'm going to I'm going to say that that was library debt. It went into library that operating because the library debt was paid. Yeah. That was so the cost of That was the extra that the yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yep, well, I remember that. Yeah. 
Yep, so that was a card out. too? No, no that's money just going so out. The library is getting money. Okay. There's one. So we're all done with that. Yep. Dead. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, the only thing yeah. that I, and I just did one, wasn't for much. When the county sends me delinquent tax, if oh. the delinquent tax includes library debt disbursements, right. it gets sent to library property. Right. Because if they're paying that far back and there was still debt, right. that can happen for a little bit. Right. Okay. I, I have a question on year. public relations. Now, we spent more money this year on public relations, and there was, what was it that we uh, oh, it's on off the page. Bottom. Oh, sorry. Nine four four seven five four. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's those meetings that you have with the M15 people. Public relations. You buy oh, donuts. What else? Coffee. I buy donuts out of my own pocket. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, yeah. and I buy donuts for the cleanup people on my own pocket. Do you want uh, um, a detailed report on this? Is that what you're asking? I could get you one. Well, I'm just wondering if that needs to get increased because we seem to have increased our pool. I think it should. Money to yeah, I think it should go up. Well, so. in 19 budget we were five, so I don't know why. Two thousand. Was some of that the fireworks? Well, right? yeah. So well, yeah, we we made a budget amendment. So I, I think to because we spent more, and I remember we did that. Right. So I'm saying when you but did I don't the budget what this we year, did it for. but I'm saying when we did the budget this year, we should have yeah. done what's here. We some for the fireworks and some for the. Um, but we always the old fireworks. The, the, the blacksmith. Yes. The blacksmith oh, that's what it was. The blacksmith. That was two thousand. Yeah. Okay. Right. That was two thousand. So if you take two thousand off of there, we beat that. That good. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put over yeah, that. Yeah, that was like a one time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, so that's what it was. Okay. If the 2000s in the 4744. Yeah, I don't know if it is. Because that just happened. It did it just happen. So this we month. might want to check that. Very All right, questionable. I'll let you check that. Because if not, the budget should have been for 5 for 19, or for 20, because that's what our But, the, but the budget amendments on there. I think. Yeah, but I'm saying when you looked at the budget, no, it should have been five. When you looked at the <coughs> line, the three is what she's saying. I'm saying when you look at the amended budget for 19 and how much we spent for 19, I don't know where you got the 35. I would have done five to start with. Well, it was probably yeah, but it was a budget. It was probably <laughs> 35. Right. So it was probably two. three. You're thinking. It was probably 35 of them increased, in, increased, increased at 15. <laughs> gotcha. And you just did the 3,500 after the fact. Right. The budget came in right. after the fact, so you didn't change the proposed line, is what you're saying. Okay, 10 minutes. Cause so I, I didn't change the proposed line. Did you change the proposed line? Yeah, it was not a one-time thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 I just got a quick question about paid vacation. Is that is that like we don't do that anymore? <laughs> I know it. I know it. I know it. Somebody retires. They didn't use all their vacation. They get paid what we owe them, oh, okay. which so that, that should 18. not be a zero. We had a person retired this year, and we paid her home, like two weeks vacation. Okay, so that needs to be updated. Well, yep. We don't know that that's going to happen. So we have to make a budget amendment if we have a retired person. But what Candy's yeah. saying, it happened this it year happen. and it's not there. Right. So so there exactly. Oh, we did pay somebody? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the retiree that left July 1st. Oh. Oh, you know. So we're going to find out why that's missing. Well, they, and you're right, we don't know your They retired and they didn't use all their vacation, so they're due that money. Yeah. Yeah. So they got paid for their two weeks vacation. They don't get paid for sick time unused. So in 2017, an employee retired and they had to pay us for the vacation. It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, they're, oh, they're retired before they Note to self, Sue is to attend all budget <laughs> workshops. Or maybe they had already used up their vacation time. <coughs> yeah, that's what they had that's to pay back. Saying. Right, and they were paying back. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question, but that's I have it down to find out. Uh, which one's that? Unpaid um, or paid vacation? For the following year. Um, that's a requirement by the auditor. 
So we we budgeted zero for 19. Mm -hmm. But in 18, we had $8,617 of activity. Because it was an unused vacation that was available, is how can it uh, describe that to us? Because we have to put it on books for unpaid vacation <coughs> or for paid vacation for the following year. Makes no sense. It's just a. They count as a liability on the books. Correct. Yeah. It's a placeholder. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. It's like something that gets accrued. Yes. It's, it's a. Goes back to your debits and credits. It's just a placeholder. So we probably should put money in there. I think yeah. you should. Right. Okay. I'll put something in there. And it'll vary from year to year depending on how much vacation time's left. I'll put five grand in there. I'll say. Yeah, I think that should be. Okay. Anything else? And this, the transfers, those are, that's money that goes to our designated funds. So that's typically what we get in or what we put in. The passport has been gone since 2013. Yeah. I think we could probably get rid of Ambridge yeah, too. Yeah, really yeah, I don't know why we have Ambridge throughout this whole thing. Yeah. Unless there was any activity. Well, I think it goes five years. years. Yeah, yeah, it's four or five. All right, any questions on the fund balance? No. Oh, we need to put something in drains at large. I thought I added something. For the 2020, but not for the 19. Oh, yeah, I have to do budget amendments. Okay. Toward the end of the year. Gotcha. Okay. I put your initial in that one. <laughs> so I won't ask you. Okay. <laughs> Looks Got good. It. Okay. We only have one left. Oh, I lied, I yeah. lied, I lied. <laughs> the sheriff's sure department done it easy because we already looked at that one. And there was only one change to be made on it. And it was what? Please budget. That was. Why did we say 4.12 now? Because it's what we voted. Yeah, that's yeah. That that's what we oh for nineteen, ahead. but we spent it in twenty. But I thought the election came in at four point two five. It did. It minus did. The but we had to minus, minus roll the back. So four point one two is the housing. So yeah, it's actually okay. four point one two oh four. Okay. That's my. I was just not thinking that. I was thinking that's because you're sleepy. No, I am sleepy. I didn't sleep yeah. last night. What did you change on it, I think the local community stabilization for revenue, um, I increased that by $6,000. And that was not on the budget when you saw it last. That's the only change I made. Where does that money come from? State. Out of our general fund? No. Mm -hmm. It comes from the state. And it is to replace the money that we're no longer getting for personal property taxes. Okay. Yeah, part if of they it goes continue to, to do it. Yeah, and part, and part of it goes to police. So that's why I increased from 4000 to 6000 to 10000 I increased at 6000 And that's the only change I made on this budget from when I presented it to you when we did our budget, or our truth and taxation. When do we know uh, what our contract's gonna look like? Every three years. Yeah, we know. I, I have the contracted amount for, I think, 2020 and 2021, and then I just estimated on 2022. 
Okay, so those are actual numbers. Then. Um, I mean, that's what we can that's definitely that's, what we're going to pay out. Yeah, that's according to the officers. That that's what we have. You know what? Let me double check on that. Didn't we add an officer? Well, we double check. I don't think we added an officer. I just thought we did the uh, we did the liaison mm -hmm. officer. Didn't we this year take a part-time officer and make him full-time? I remember how we split, or was that last year? That was, that was last year. year. Yeah. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that's on there, but I'll just double check. Great. Right. At the beginning the of this year, there was supposed to be a contract, right? <clears throat> I don't remember an addition. I don't remember them adding any personnel other than the liaison officer when we did that. Yeah. I mean, what, yeah. two years ago? Mm -hmm. Three years? Yeah, we had the shared officer. We had the yes. shared officer, we stopped the shared. But then we also also added Oh we were paying the liaison. The sergeant, and yeah. doing the, the liaison when he was. But no, we working. added somebody with the contract. When the new contract came, we added somebody. Wasn't it the sergeant? Because the sergeant we went got to a new lieutenant. detective this year. We got a new detective this year. An additional detective? Yes. We did something at the beginning of the year. But I think the lieutenant, the detective yeah. went to lieutenant, or no, no, the detective went to sergeant, and then we added the another detective. Yeah. Three, we added. Yeah. All right. And, and it was because, so the... Because I remember I wanted to start so the, when we first... So the sergeant could oversee the afternoon. Oh, yes. yeah, so they didn't have to Yes, and I wanted to start right away, and we were all like, no, we'll just wait until our new contract comes in January. Yeah. yeah. So we started... So we just started a new contract this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's... Yeah. Yep, so now, 4.12 is going to be assessed on 2019 winter taxes? They only get collected in the winter. Okay, so that's my question. Yep, only in the yeah. winter. The okay. summer wins only school stuff. So, so we at this, this winter we're going to be assessed four point one two mills. Yes. For police. Yes. Not in addition to what you pay. And we spend it in twenty twenty. So we assess it in nineteen, but we spend it in twenty twenty. Right. Because that's not paid till February, though, right? Yeah, but that's still 1910. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, but. Okay. Right. So the winter tax is going to go up like 0 0.3, from 3.8 to 4.12. Correct. Yes. Okay. That's what I was getting at. Okay, guys. Any other questions or any questions on that one? Yeah. Okay, cemetery budget. Come on, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah. I'm going to say, can we, if we're going to do cemetery, can we hours. stop after cemetery? Well, do the you guys have any questions? I mean, didn't the cable coordinator want to be here for the cable? I know that was just to do his contract, but. Well, and I can tell you about the cable. Well, um, no, I'm not saying let's do it now. And let's do cemetery. I was going to say, and the sads are kind of. Yeah, they're kind of. You don't have to do them because their contract, whatever comes in, it goes back out. And we already did Parks and Rec. And that's a sad. It's so all we have is cemetery and cable. The rest are no brainers. So for cave, for cemetery, there's a few changes. Um, and what was it you wanted to? Just we have to gravel some of the roads that are horrible, horrible. I've not put one piece of gravel out there in seven years. I don't know when the last time it got it. So that went up to, actually it went down from the tree trimming because that's done. So that's going to be gravel money. We have headstones that are very, very old, huge, and they're leaning worse than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So I'm getting a quote. I talked to a man and in the next couple weeks he's going to send me a quote 
I'm hoping $10,000 is going to at least do the majority of the bad stones and get them safe, not broken. Other than that, everything else is uh, pretty much good. We put in a new well, we put in new fencing, I've gotten the trees all trimmed up. There's, I would like to hopefully buy a small, small, small shed to put at the back. Up at the back like a maintenance shed, but very small. Nice station yes, way in the back behind, as far east as you can go. There's a pile of dirt back there, and mm -hmm. that's it. Okay. Any questions? Oh, okay. So, um, cable. <coughs> um, Mr. Norman wants to go wireless next year, so he wants to put in for equipment seventy-five thousand dollars. That's why that's that. Mm. There's a big increase there. How would he go wireless? Hmm? How would he go wireless? Can we record? Is it going to have microphones that we can hear when I put the DVD in from our meetings? No, you can't. cannot. No, hear. That's what everybody says. That's because hear. he's got an equipment problem, and that should be fixed soon, and then the wires will be back. So the wireless, I think, will pick up from the microphones. In the minutes back in 2003, there was a complaint by the board of the microphones not working properly, and you cannot hear it on the cable. You can't. And you it's can't like hear it. We should be able to fix that. Right. And he's got enough money in the budget. Well, that's why. And it's being it, fixed. So. It's being fixed. It just what hasn't. It. it took a while to get done. Um, but if he goes wireless, I mean, he still has plenty of money. I'm fine. <laughs> because these cameras that we're using now. The microphone's at the camera, and that's why you can't hear it. And so when when the blue box, or whatever it is that needs to get fixed, gets fixed, then they will run the wires to our meetings again, and then then everyone will be able to hear us in the microphone. To seventy-five, they'll hear us here in this room. It's not going to go into the next room. Oh, because that's what it's doing. Oh, you you're talking our so audience. We need, our audience here need we need to be amplified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our audience yeah, here like can't speakers. always hear either. No. Yeah. yeah, so that, that, yeah, let me write that over here. I'll, I'll have that conversation with them. What was the 75 increase? To go wireless. Where's that at? Equipment. Towards, towards the bottom. Down back page. Great. 977. Oh. No. Oh. Grand to go wireless? Good God. Well, maybe like 60, because he's got 12 in there for equipment to the place, so I don't know. Is it 60 oh. or is it 75? I'm okay with whatever it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah. Well. Okay, and, 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 and so the rest of the budget, if anybody has any questions, call me. They look fine for me, and I think we should fix whatever we need to to be able to get the audience to hear us and the people in the room. Not just the residents to do that, and there's money there. I think we'll adjourn the meeting. So right. citizens' comments. No citizens' comments. Yeah. There is two. Oh, yep, yeah, he's still back here. There, chief. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Trustee Marshall to adjourn the meeting and is seconded by Trustee Cordella. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.